And the storms that raced through central Indiana right during the morning rush hour also forced at least one school to close this morning. Our Storm Team 13 coverage continues now at noon with our Naomi Peskovitz. She is live from Bishop Chatard High School where students got an unexpected day off while neighbors are left to clean up a huge mess. Naomi. Yeah, and Matt, they sure are. But as Kevin said, people seem to be smiling and actually in a good mood, good spirits right now. I think it's because the sun is finally out, though this is what they're left with. A huge cleanup. This is just one of several large trees that was torn down, fell down, some of them across power lines here in the southeast side neighborhood, uh, right by Bishop Chatard High School. We spoke with the homeowner here who spent the morning cleaning up. Listen to what he told us. It was across Kessler this morning, um, but after it fell, we had a great group of volunteers come down and actually start cleaning everything up so we can open up Kessler. Yeah, in the meantime, he's had a lot of help out here. That's been the good news, and they did get this street cleared off so that folks could drive by. But, yeah, they've got work to do. It could take a couple days. This will be much of the weekend for the folks here. Uh, as we mentioned, Bishop Chatard did let out around 1030 this morning. Their power went out. Their Internet went out. They had all the kids in the basement. Some of the children we spoke to were uh, a little happy, of course, to start their weekends off early, but they also realized the danger behind a big storm like this. Listen in. It's worse than I thought it was. Um, I only didn't think there'd be that much damage. I remember seeing a tree fall down outside a window, and that was like probably the worst I saw, but out here now, it's crazy. So a look now behind the school, too, where some trees went down back there, covering the baseball fields. In some cases, uh, other homes, though, still without power and likely will be for so much of the day. We want to let you know that the folks from Shatar did tell us that their football game tonight is still on. It's been moved, though, from 7 o'clock to 7.30. They actually play at Lawrence Central, so it's not here on the Shatard campus. But in the meantime, like you heard, a lot of scary moments this morning. Thankfully, though, everyone's okay, and for now, the sun is shining. Matt, back to you. Naomi, I've seen this becoming all too familiar around central Indiana this month. Naomi Peskovitz.